Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, the Sudoku hunt by Stefan Bura and Udukos continues to get rave reviews. We've published a slight adaptation of the document. It wasn't stopping people solving it before but makes perhaps one of the steps slightly clearer I think. Um, so do do join Patreon if you haven't already. Assuming you're already a patron and you haven't tried the hunt, head over there and give it a go. We've got the weekend coming up and you may need that to uh, attempt it. Now, uh, that's going on on Patreon and uh, very popular it is too. There is also our mer Christmas merchandise and other merchandise at the store um, on the... If you click on Cracking the Cryptic under the video, it'll take you to a page where there are tabs including store and you can see our merchandise there. So do consider buying some of that for your loved ones for Christmas or for yourself. Now, I pretty much always do Sudoku puzzles on the channel, but it's probably a long time since I did another puzzle type. But I love this idea by Danny Demirsaman, um, who we featured before. I think I may have called him Dutch. If I did, Danny, I apologize. I take it all back now. I see that you're from Belgium. Um, and Danny's come up with... This is actually a puzzle I knew as Tents, I think, and he's calling it Tents and Trees, but he's adapted it to be a celebration of the COVID-19 vaccine, which, um, well, a number of competing or complementary vaccines have recently been announced. One of them got approved by the UK Testing Authority yesterday and is being rolled out now. A very exciting development in the pandemic that threatens let's not go further, to return life on the planet to normal. And that will be fantastic. So hats off to Danny for coming up with a variant of this puzzle. So let's read the rules as they apply in the COVID-19 version. In this puzzle, you're responsible for the COVID-19 vaccinations. You must ensure that each person receives one vaccine. Below, you can see the procedure you must comply with. A vaccine must be immediately next to a person. Diagonally next is not allowed. In total, there are as many vaccines as people, so every person gets a COVID-19 vaccine. The numbers on the bottle, this is clues outside the grid, indicate how many doses are in each row and column. The number of doses isn't known if a bottle doesn't have a number on it. Um, vaccines never touch each other horizontally or vertically or diagonally. None, none of that. It's too dangerous, of course. A vaccine can make contact with multiple people, but is only intended for one person. So let's go to the puzzle. Um, there we go. And it comes up with... Right, that's in Dutch. Let's... or oh, Belgian, probably. Apologies again. I don't know. I can't tell which. Well, Belgian would be French or Flemish. Anyway, right, here's an English version. There's me. That's good. Okay, so uh, Danny's grateful that we uh, covered one of his Sudokus before. Easy as ABC. I do remember it. Based on one of these puzzle types that he comes up with. In fact, look at all these variants that you can do on his site, which we will link below the video as well. Tectonicpuzzles.eu Aquarium, Look Air. Actually, Look Air was the last one I did on the channel that was not a Sudoku. So there we go. Um, also, a couple of Sudoku types. I mean, they're, they're here and they're possible. We're going to try the COVID-19 vaccine puzzles. Okay, so here it is. So just to recap the rules, do, do click on the link and give it a try. Um, so there's one... I'll just show... Yeah, okay, so... By clicking on these squares, left clicking on them, you can go from blue to white, which means no vaccine or that, which obviously is a COVID-19 vaccine or back to blue. Um, and there's gonna be one of these beside each person or orthogonally attached to a person. And the numbers in the bottles show how many in each row and column, and the vaccines can never touch each other. So there we go. I think that's probably enough rules. Um, okay, we get a couple of rows, or let's get cracking. Sorry, let's say that. A couple of rows of zeros. So yeah, I'm going to white out those completely because we're told they have no vaccines in them. 
then ah, this three is a very useful start. So there are three vaccines in this row. They must all be attached to people. So one is next to this guy on the bottom row, but the other two have to be attaching to these people. And then the remaining cells on the bottom row are white. So we've got two vaccines placed. They're both in columns with two in, so they didn't complete them. Uh, ah, this four. Right, that has got to refer to these four people in the two rows above these guys who are receiving vaccines already. So one of them is next to this guy. Oh no, hang on, what am I doing? Yeah, one is definitely next to this guy in, in the first column. One is for this guy. Then this guy gets one, that can't be. This guy gets one, that can't be. And I'm just remembering that I should basically be whiting out any cells that can't touch a person orthogonally because there would never be any point them having a vaccine in. So I'm terrible at spotting these. I will miss one or two. That's almost guaranteed. Um, diagonally next only is not close enough. There, you see, I would normally miss that cell. Um, the worst crime, of course, is to white out a cell that could contain a vaccine. So I probably, <laughs> probably missed one somewhere, but that's what I think our starting grid is. Um, now, four in this row, yes, we've, we've kind of dealt with them. These guys have both had their vaccine. So the one in this row, which is the first one from the bottom, which has a one in, isn't next to this guy who's received his vaccine. Okay, so we can white out cells that would only apply to him and for that guy. It can't be for this guy who's getting his vaccine in the row with the four bottle. And it can't be for this guy for the because the same applies. So one of those two is a vaccine. Um, don't know in the next row. These one rows are difficult. Let's have a look at the top. Okay, there's two at the top. One is for that guy. This must be a vaccine. That becomes white because he's had his. Three in the next row. Well, one's going to be for him. One's going to be for him. This one is the third. And that gives us quite a lot of white cells around this chap. Now, the rows, as I said, we're down to all these ones. They're not very useful. So let's have a look at the columns. Right, two in this column and they're done already. So this guy must be getting his vaccine here. One in the next column and we've only got one candidate space now. And that wipes out all the cells around him. Two in the next column. So that is a vaccine and that isn't. Two in the next column. Yep, they're doable. One in the next one. We've done it already. They become white. Ooh, this is much more methodical than I usually manage to be about these puzzles. Uh, this one's gone because he's got his. Um, one for this guy. No, it, do, it could be for him. So, no, it's got to be for this guy in this column with a one in. Oh, let's go from the end first. There's a two there. I can do them. So that gives us a couple, several more white cells. This has got one in down here. It's got to be here. That becomes white. Two in this penultimate column. That's white. And there's just this chap needing his. And it comes here. And we are done. Uh, let's hit the tick button. Congrats, the COVID-19 vaccine puzzle is correct. Everyone is now vaccinated. So that's not too bad at all. Let's let's have a go at a second one, um, just to keep us going here. So how do we get that up? Start, yes, here we go. And let's try this. Ah, this time we're getting bottles with no numbers on. So let's start with the zeros again. Bottles with no numbers, just to remind you, we just don't know how many are in that row or column. But the zeros, we know there are none. Crumbs says a lot of people and not a lot of numbers. Zeros. And this time I'm not forgetting to eliminate cells which can't be next to someone. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, that one nearly missed that. There. 
quite a lot down here that this one more so right this is the starting possibilities now where can we get going to is there anybody right no i don't know that i barely used the rule last time about vaccines not being able to touch each other that that can actually be very useful um oh i don't really know where to begin here right this one has to be a vaccine because that guy can't get one from anywhere else so that's one oh there's four in this row okay so all of these our oh, vaccines. Okay, that's quite a useful start. Um, uh, I can't delete any of those. Don't know there. Oh no, gosh, we don't know any of the row totals apart from that one being one. And we've still got eight people in the top three rows to find vaccines for. Mm, okay, I don't know how to use that. Two in the bottom row. So one is for this guy. And this must be a vaccine. Three in this column, but... Okay, two in the final column. Do they have to be for these two guys who are in the final column? Yes, they do. Because they can't be for anybody else. So we can get rid of those as cells. Mm, one of these two in the penultimate column is looking to the left. This is a vaccine because that's the only one this guy can have. And that's the one for the row. Okay, so that is a useful bottle. Now, okay, there are a few where only one cell is possible. Well, I say a few. This guy's had his. This guy's had his. No, I don't know which way they go. Um, three, zero, unknown, zero, two, that's been done. One in this column, and two in the final column. Okay, this is a bit harder now. I don't know how to resolve these. Ah, this guy, he's clearly getting his there. The vaccines can't touch each other. Remember the dinging rule. So, they can't even touch each other diagonally. So they're all gone. Okay, it's got a lot easier. Now I've remembered the rule. This guy has to get his from here. This guy from here. Can't do that area yet. This guy has his on the left. Um, three in this penultimate column so that is one for him in fact that was easy and I didn't realize this now can't be one so that is uh, both of these guys need one so both of these are vaccines now we've got two in the first column so those cells are white one in the next so one of these is and one isn't two in the bottom row okay that is useful that means that is, and that can't be, and this guy needs one, so I think that does that puzzle. So they're not too hard, these, but they are quite good fun, and they are very relevant to the situation today. Um, and I congratulate Danny on turning, turning a puzzle so neatly into something so redolent of these times, and the fairly recent happy news for once about COVID. So... Thanks very much for watching. I hope that was of some interest to you. And uh, there is a third puzzle here to try. I'm not going to try it this time, but um, first two done anyway. So I hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.